Hello Libra, welcome to Divine Guidance by Sage. I am Sage the Intuitive and I am here to do a love reading for the last week of July of 2020. We're going to get an overall energy from the Romance Angels and then we're going to see what's going on in this situation for the last week of 2020 and get some advice from Spirit. I've already um, shuffled and I've already saged and blessed the cards. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell. Any information you need to know about me is in the description box. Um, so we could go ahead and get started. Remember that these readings are general, so they may not um, resonate fully with you. Take what resonates and leave what does not. So let's see what's going on with Libra for the last week of July of 2020. What's an overall energy for Libra for the last week of July of 2020? Libra for the last week of July of 2020, please. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And under the deck was retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Let's see what's going on with this. Please tell me what's going on with Libra and their person for the last week of July of 2020, please. Libra and their person. We have the King of Raphael. What else is going on? Thank you. And we have new beginnings. Okay, so the King of Raphael. And it reads, warm, generous, honorable, refined. Yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. And then we have the new beginnings card. And it says, starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So let's see what's going on. Let's pull some tarot. What is happening with Libra and the person that they are thinking about? Remember, roles can be reversed. So if you're a cross watcher, um, you are welcome here. Just put in um, the roles as they resonate with you. Why is the King of Raphael here, please? For Libra. We have the Two of Wands. So someone is trying to plan. Sometimes he's trying to make a decision. We have the Three of Wands. So somebody is trying to await some type of result. And we have the Six of Cups. So Six of Cups could be um, a reunion. Six of Cups can be a soulmate card. Um, so we we have with the uh, the Two of Wands that someone is trying to um, move forward, make a decision, and then we have the Three of Wands, uh, which is which is about again moving forward, growth, um, awaiting some type of results. Um, it could be that um, you are trying to move forward or make a decision about a um a soulmate um a soulmate partner um maybe you've known this person since you were a child maybe this is a reunion of some type of someone that you may have been with before in the past and um you're you're thinking about them there on your mind um, you also have the star card. So um, some things are trying to align. You're trying to get some clarity. Maybe that's why you have that um, decision making and, you know, you're waiting the results because you're just trying to get some clarity um, 
about this situation because maybe initially the situation um, involved some type of heartache with this three of swords and um, you're just trying to figure out what needs to be done or what you want to do um, maybe you or your person is taking on this um, king of swords energy which is someone who has a quick wit someone who's in intelligent somebody who is um authoritative um truthful so maybe with that king of raphael and that king and this king of swords that's somebody who is you're trying to take on that um someone is trying to take on that energy because they still are worried about some progress with this with this knight of pentacles you want the steady progress and with um a knight of pentacles it will be um something that is is um is steady something um that can last a long time so maybe making a decision about this true love because you also are thinking about maybe are you or your person thinking about making a romantic gesture with this knight of cups energy here the cards are flying out libra <laughs> um um, someone's thinking about manifesting this situation. Maybe this is what's on your mind and making a decision on how you're going to move forward with these, what you want to do. Because in the past, there was some heartache. Now, um, you're thinking about it and you're saying, you know what, this person was my star. Um, you, you know that um, this, this was your true love. And uh, you're now manifesting, you or your person is manifesting this, this love um, back into your life, which hence maybe that's why that six of cups was here which could could you know signify a reunion of some sort and you're remembering with that six of clubs you're remembering how it was to be with this person and you're trying to figure out what type of romantic gesture you will take towards this um person or maybe that person of you that what kind of romantic gesture they want to take towards you why is this new beginnings here Why is this new beginnings here for Libra, please? This is a divine partnership with the Two of Cups. So you want to have a new beginning with this person that you consider to be your um, your true love. Um, and Spirit is saying that, yes, this is a divine partnership. But I think someone is in their head about this. This, is, this may be why... Um, you're trying to make a decision. Someone is in their head about the situations with this Eight of Swords energy. Um, someone is definitely um, feeling, you know, a little bit in prison to their to their thoughts right now. And then even with the Nine um, Nine of Wands, so maybe there was some trials and tribulations in the past, but you're still thinking about it, saying, "Hey, you know what? It may have been trials and tribulations in the past, but it is something that I really want." Um, and I'm ready to go ahead and drop all of these burdens um, with the Ten of Wands because this is my true love. And maybe I need to think um, different. Maybe this initially this was a painful ending at one point between you and this person. But then Spirit is saying, and I think you, you or your person knows deep down inside that this is your Ten of Cups. This is your Ten of Cups. Um, this is your person. This is the um, commitment that you want. This is your true love. Maybe uh, um, you had to end some type of cycle in order to move towards this. Uh, here's another 10. Jesus, another 10 uh, with the 10 of pen Pentacles, which is the ultimate achievement. So this is your divine partner. This, this situation may have um, been a little bit challenging at one point, And this is why you or your person is deciding to go ahead and... Um, you know make a decision to to like revisit this this um connection and knowing that this is your true love this is the person that you want to be with this is the person that you feel like you need to be with um there will be success in the situation um and there's like it says a lot of tens so maybe you or your person is manifesting this maybe you were treated um maybe that's why this retreat card was here that you disconnected from the world um, for a bit to kind of think think about it and even under that um, it has express your express your your feelings um, um, express your um, express your love or, which is basically expressing your feelings to go ahead and make a romantic gesture which came out in the tarot here that someone wants to make some type of romantic gesture 
um, that did come out here. So let's see what the overall um, outcome will be of this situation, Libra. What is the outcome of the situation for Libra? The lovers. The lovers. And um, you have the six of swords, but that, that is just saying that, you know, you're going to something calm. Um, you're moving forward. You're at your right, right, right of passage. So the out overall outcome is that this is your true love. Um, and, you know, you, someone is making a decision to revisit this. Um, hence the reunion card that came out. Someone is thinking about uh, revisiting this situation and starting over. Let's see, let's get some advice from Spirit in regards to this reading. What is, what is Spirit advising Libra to do? Um, the Vulture Spirit, nothing is wasted. So whatever you're doing, it is not a waste of time. If you were thinking that it could have been a waste of time, it is not a waste of time. And then just know with the outer spirit that you are never alone. Um, so whatever whatever you're thinking, um, this, this, and even under that, this transformation is beautiful with the butterfly spirit. So maybe you needed that time apart to retreat from each other in order to go ahead and um, kind of rethink and figure out and remind yourself maybe why you why you were in love with this person in the first place maybe that cycle needed to end and maybe you needed that time apart but now you're realizing that this is a person that you want to be with because there is success in this situation so that's what i have for you um libra i hope that this is helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe and also put on your notification bell i thank you for stopping by you guys take care and you be safe